For showing the merits of buffing, I'm going to use two weed pots. Both are made out of western red cedar. This one is uh, bare wood that's just been sanded through 400 grit. And this one has been soaked in a Watco Danish oil type finish. And so you can get some idea what the difference will be in polishing these two pieces and putting a wax finish on them. The first one I'm going to do is the bare wood. I always start by dressing the wheel, and you do that with the sharp edge of a stick. And you can see what happens. It's brought up a lot of that old compound that's been in that wheel. So I'm starting off with a fresh compound every time I'm buffing. That's about how much it takes. And then I go ahead. It takes a little practice to learn how much pressure you need to put on this thing. Don't depend on this buffing wheel to do your sanding for you. Well, this is a good way to take out minor sanding scratches, but it's not a good way to take out heavy scratches or to remove tool marks or torn grain. You should always do that before you bring this thing to the buffing wheel. Always wipe these down before you take it on to the next uh, step. I'm going to do the same cleaning of the wheel before I put the white diamond compound on it. Now I'm putting on the white diamond. Running this wheel at a slower RPM, it just takes a little bit longer to get the job done. But the wheel is softer, it conforms to the wood better. And there is less of a tendency for it to take this piece and throw it across the room. Holding the pieces being buffed at about a 45 degree angle to the wheel usually helps to keep it from being thrown. Okay, that piece has now been buffed with the white diamond. I'm going to wipe it again. And I'm ready to put on a wax coat. It's really important to take the excess off here. Too much wax is always a problem. Don't put too much on. Too much wax will just smear across the surface. The objective of wax is to get on a very thin coat. Wax is one of those finishes that thinner is better. The thinner it is, the better it is. Wax likes to be abraded, and the buffing wheel does a good job of abrading it. Thinner is better. And this is a good way to put on a thin finish of wax. That piece is done. If I want to do another coating of wax, I'll leave it sit overnight and come back and give it the second coating. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the other piece. Clean the wheel. Charge the wheel. And buff the wood. This piece of wood has a finish on it, so the important thing is that the finish be dry. We need to um, always make sure that that finish has had plenty of time to cure. This is an oil finish, and it was put on by soaking the piece in a, in a bath of oil. So I'm going to let it dry for something like a week before I try any buffing on it. Lacquer also needs about a week. Anything less than that is going to be too soft, and you might uh, go through it. That's the last thing you want to do is to go through a lacquer film finish, so make sure you leave the lacquer on long enough for it to really and thoroughly cure. Wipe all that tallow off of there. And now do the same thing with the finer grit white diamond. You may get a little white powder showing up on the wood. All that means is that I've got a little bit of excess polishing compound on there. As I said before, don't depend on this to be doing your sanding for you. It's not a replacement for sanding. This is a, a surface preparation and a finishing technique. And then wipe the surface off. Make sure that it's clean and dry and doesn't have any abrasive powder or wax on it. Change the wheels. 
and give it a coating of wax. It's better to use too little than too much on the wax. You'll get too much, you'll know what happens because it'll start to smear around on the surface. And when that happens, you know you got too much and there's not much you can do with it. So the only thing you can do is to get the excess wax out of the wheel by rubbing the stick on it to remove the old wax and then buff the piece with no wax on the, on the, on the buffing wheel. And if you have a big smear, then just work on that a little bit. And there are the two pieces that have been finished. Now this one has been polished and waxed on bare wood, and this one is polished and waxed on a wood that has been soaked in Watco oil to bring out the green color. These are both with the same wood, but just look at the difference, and this is the advantage of using the oil on it as against going with just the bare wood. A good soaking with Watco Danish oil and buffing are two things that were made to go together. The Watco oil hardens in the wood and stiffens up the surface, and the pores of the wood have been mostly sealed with the finish.